we can just get you another boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said about the last one, and he left me. I know. Oh, so oh. <laughs> he left me. I'm not even gonna pretend to do this again. <laughs>
Of course they're laughing at us. We're in a cage, Sarah. No, they're laughing. <sighs> <laughs> no, they never laughed before. Well, maybe not at your cages, but I get it on a daily basis. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs>
why this is going to help me feel bad about not voting. <laughs> it's going to make you feel bad because now you don't have any rights. You're in the ice cave. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. You can't keep your toes. <laughs> this is the ultimate violation. But isn't it ironic that another woman put me here? Ironic. Ironic is one of those words that they try to teach you so you can think about what happened to you and why it all makes sense. You can't think about it like it's ironic. It's right or it's wrong. <laughs> what? Like a Republican? <laughs> yes! Yes. Oh. Yes. That gives me an idea. Do you know what a Republican would do if they were here? <laughs> they would eat their way out of this ice. They would shoot someone. <laughs> oh my god! They would sweat someone. I'm sorry, my, my grandfather Wendy. was a Republican. Wendy! And, and he took me shooting when I was young, so I've always carried a gun on me. Didn't he teach you not to point it at other people? <laughs> no, he said always to point it at the person who might be holding you back. <laughs> Sounds like propaganda. Propaganda, Wendy. Wendy, I forget your name. I don't even know what's happening. I know, Susan. But if I'm going to be a Republican, I have to go all in. You understand that, right? There's no moderation. There's no moderation. Thank you, Mom. I'm very excited for my date. She'll <laughs> be here any minute. All of us finished your makeup. I fi finished. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> finished. I, I mean, I guess I can put on some more. Uh oh. There you go. <laughs> I'm so glad you're around to give me advice. Yes. Well, you can never have too much highlighter. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Right. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. For having a date. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. I, I worked really hard at school to get here. I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I had to act stupid in so many classes. I know. I'm so proud your teachers <laughs> called me. <laughs> you did, you did. They told me you've been answering uh, all the questions wrong. They said you failed your pop quiz on purpose, it looked like. I did. I you did. I totally knew all of those algebraic equations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was like child's play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. They even said you answered one of their questions in class with a pun on a curse word. I did. I did. I read it from that book you gave me. <gasps> you read the book? But only the first chapter and the last chapter. Oh, I love it. You know, the Harlequins have been so good to me. And me too, Mom. Now I understand. Yeah. I need to get pregnant tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, I, I think maybe you should have read the middle chapters if you're going to be making decisions like that. No, they always end up pregnant and then you get married. Okay, well that, that happens in like chapter I understand we're going to have a fight, but he'll get back over it and come back to me. <laughs> so, uh, it could be 20 years, so I might have to stay here. Okay. Oh, oh. will you answer the door? I don't want him to think I'm too forward. Okay. Sweetie, just remember, there's a lot of things in the intervening chapters. Hi, Billy! Hey, uh, so I'm here to pick up your daughter. Yeah. I'll be in the car. Okay. <laughs> Here's some condoms! <laughs> Sweetie, you can just pick those up on the way out. It's okay. They, they won't fit in my purse. Well, here, that's okay, Mom. It's my purse. Oh. <laughs> Mom. It's that's too a mom bag. bag. It's like a half mom bag. Yeah, it's like half the size of this is Dooney and Burke's new fall line. Yeah, fall line for mothers. <laughs> for mothers. Whatever. Oh my god. It's a monster. I don't understand it.
as much as I used to. <laughs> you mean because you mumble now? I can't even understand you. I don't understand as much as I used to. That came out weird. <laughs> I told you to eat from the trees. They, you picked everything off the trees. I didn't say you couldn't eat it. I thought it was your store. <laughs> I put your name on it. <laughs> See? I can't read anymore. <laughs> I think you're just making excuses. You know, orangutans aren't known for being lazy. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> 63 days. You seem to be getting smarter. You can count about 60 now. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised I still know what 60 is. Have you just given up on life? I haven't given up. I just feel like really more satisfied. If you die, <laughs> if you die in this cage, uh -huh. I will not give you a proper burial. What? I'm taking your stuff. Wait, you won't give me the orangutan dig and sing? No. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a sloth burial. No! Yeah! <laughs> I may not know much, but I know the slots they... do not get a burial worthy of an orangutan. No, they don't! There's not even a song! No! There's just silence. Oh. And slow digging. Oh. <laughs> slow digging. <laughs> I'm gonna decay while you bury me, aren't I? You're gonna be grass before I even get, like, a finger in. <laughs> That's oddly comforting and also really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs>